Um, it's been a pretty lazy day so far, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Sometimes you need those. So um, I'm gonna go down and get some lunch maybe um, from the buffet or perhaps Park Cafe um, has been pretty good. It's about 12.30ish. Um, so again, I miss breakfast. I was gonna try to do breakfast this morning, but um, yeah, right. <laughs> I will get down to breakfast at some point this week. Um, especially since we have two sea days at the end of this, I think that would be a good time to try out, you know, breakfast and whatever. Um, I know it must be weird to some of you watching like, what, he doesn't do breakfast? I just don't get up early enough. <laughs> um, but anyway, and then we'll see what comes up after that. I might go up to the pool deck and look around and um, if the pool and stuff aren't busy, I might get in, but if not, I'll just lay out and chill. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll take you with me. Um, we'll see what we see, do what we do, and uh, we'll talk soon. So I went up to the Windjammer to grab some food. This wasn't a sea day, but we were in Port Canaveral, and so I didn't get off the ship at all. I've sailed out of Port Canaveral several times, and so I'm familiar with the port and kind of surrounding area, and in order to get anywhere from there, you have to arrange transportation. They did have a couple of excursion options that I could have booked, but I decided to make this my own kind of sea day, and it was nice because while not everyone got off the ship, a lot of people did, so the pool deck and all that stuff wasn't too crazy busy. The Windjammer lunch was pretty good. This was actually one of the better buffets that I've had on a cruise ship, but that's because this is like one of the main dining options on Enchantment of the Seas. But after lunch, I decided to make my way up to the upper decks and look around up there. It was a really nice day, and I think this was the first day that we were actually warm enough to go swimming and stuff. That is one thing about this itinerary that I didn't really expect, is that a good portion of it was in the cold. So pools and sunbathing and outdoor activities were kind of minimal. But yeah, so I got some footage of the Port Canaveral cruise port, and there was one other cruise ship in port with us, but I'm pretty sure they were actually getting ready to start a cruise, so like Port Canaveral was their starting point. Because outside of this Royal Caribbean itinerary, I've never actually seen Port Canaveral as a port of call. And honestly, I think in the future they should replace Port Canaveral with Key West because I don't really feel like Port Canaveral is designed to be a port of call. Some people did excursions and stuff, which would obviously be fun going to like the Kennedy Space Center and what have you. And I definitely would have done some of those things if I had been on this cruise with someone else. But as a solo cruiser, it was nice to get some time to myself on a more or less half empty ship. But anyway, at one point I went up to the Solarium Bar and grabbed a drink and just kind of chilled for a bit before heading back to my room. All right, y'all, say hi to Henry. Hi, Henry. Well, hi there, friends. Um, it's been a pretty lazy day so far, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Sometimes you need those. And um, <clears throat> I'm on my way to dinner. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes, see if my table mates uh, show up tonight or not. Um, and uh, I forgot to mention earlier, I probably said it at some point in the post commentary, but. Um, we're in Port Canaveral today. That's actually a port of call on this itinerary. So I didn't get off the ship. Um, I've been out of Port Canaveral several times. And so I'm familiar with the surrounding area and whatever. And there's really nothing <laughs> within walking distance or anything. Um, you would need to arrange transportation for basically everything you do. A lot of people are going to Cocoa Beach. I thought about doing that. And I think if I had someone with me, I would do that. But, you know, traveling that far away from the ship alone um, to go to the beach, and just be alone on the beach <laughs> versus being on the ship and at the pool and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, it kind of seems better for me to stay on the ship this time around. But anyway, so that's it. You're caught up and uh, I'm going to go figure out dinner. But uh, we'll talk soon.
After dinner, they had entertainment going on as usual in the centrum, and so I sat with my table mates and listened to some of the live music and stuff happening in there. And then they had live music and dancing in Boleros, which is always fun. So I went over there and had a drink while I watched the different couples dance on the dance floor and whatever. And then as we left Port Canaveral, the shops and everything opened. So I went over and looked inside the logo shop and I got a model ship as I do on every single cruise I go on. I'm slowly but surely building up my fleet and maybe I'll do a video someday showing off all my model ships once I have enough to like be cool enough to do that or what have you. This day ended up being a little bit of a turning point for me because I'd met a couple of people at the R bar the night before. It was a daughter and mother duo who were traveling together. Their names were Chris and Kelly, so shout out to you guys if you're watching. And they ended up being my friends the entire rest of the cruise, and we've obviously exchanged contact information and stuff to stay in touch afterwards. But yeah, at one point I found myself in the casino where I gave them $20, and then there was a theater show happening, and I debated going to that, but I actually looked at the time wrong, and so by the time I got over there, it was too late. So I made my way up to deck nine, which is obviously the pool deck on Enchantment of the Seas, to see if there was anything going on up there, and there wasn't, but it was actually really nice out there, and I thought about just sitting on a lounger for a while, but I decided instead to just head back to my room and call it a night. All right, friends, I'm back to the room, and bam, I finally got a towel animal. This is that, I don't know, lobster looking one, whatever it is. I still don't know what this one is, <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> I got that one again. The thing I like about this one is look at, like, look at all the folds and stuff. I mean, this is definitely not an easy one to make. So um, considering this is day four and my first towel animal, it's good that I got an elaborate one, um, but they're definitely not keeping up with Carnival uh, when it comes to towel animals, or even MSC, I think. I think I got towel animals almost every day on both my MSC cruises already, so. But you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, it is time for bed. I'm obviously gonna disrobe and all that, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm done for the evening. It's about 10.30, so relatively early for me, but maybe that means I'll be able to get breakfast tomorrow. That would be awesome. Um, and then I put my towel animal over there. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put the rest if I get any more, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. I shouldn't be because I slept in super late today, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I wanna thank you all for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and y'all have a good night.